was an interesting part because um, you know it's, it's this canon, this, this uh, man of the cloth, but underneath he's a human being really, and he's he's he, he's denied. Well, he thinks he's, he's denied. He's been denied certain feelings anyway over over years, and people think he should behave in a certain way. At the end of the day, he's a human being, and he likes his prism. I think it's a free song anyway, and I think I think the feeling's mutual. I will have a stroke with you. I find I have a headache after all, and a walk might do me good. With pleasure, Prison. With pleasure. We might go as far as the schools and back. That would be delightful. I think she's a fun character, really. She's, she's done a lot with her life, but she's, there's more that she wants to do that she doesn't feel that she can come out and say and do without the help of... Okay, well, I'm playing Lady Bracknell, and it, actually, it's a part I've always wanted to play. I studied um, the play for my degree, so I know it quite well. And Lady Bracknell was the part that really spoke to me at the time. I think it's because she gets to stomp about quite a bit and be quite sort of uh, nasty to everybody. Um, she is really a gorgon, as they say in the play, so I quite like doing that, quite like being bossy. Illness of any kind is hardly a thing to be encouraged in others. Health is the primary duty of life. I'm always telling that to your poor uncle, but he never seems to take much notice as far as any improvement in his ailment goes. Is no time for wearing the shallow, shallow mask of manners. When I see a spade, I will call it a spade. I am glad to say that I have never seen a spade. It is obvious that our social spheres have been widely different. Uh, the play itself, I've done a, a little bit of work with it before. Um, but yeah, like as I'm reading it more and understand it more, I'm uh, getting more to grips with it. It's really something to sink my teeth into. Gwendolyn really fancies Ernest. If she knew his name was Jack, then, yeah, she's a bit materialistic. You have filled my tea with lumps of sugar, and though I asked most distinctly for bread and no, butter... No, put the plate down. You have given me cake. Um, I think she's quite heavily influenced by her mother. So, yeah, I, I hope she's not going to end up like her mother. She'll be bossy. But, um, yeah, who knows? To rescue my poor, innocent, trusting boy, there are no lengths to which I will not go. Oh, but Mr. Ernest Wormley has driven from the station. A man has brought his luggage yes. with him. I like the fact that he's a, he's a very good boy just doing his job and, and whatever's going around mm. uh, on around him, he's just not interfering too much. or He's not interfering at all, really. A bit of the Jeeves about the lane, I think. I have directed um, Woman of No Importance some years ago for the South End Shakespeare and this is something new for me because I've never done actually Ernest before. It's one of Oscar's most popular plays and uh, yet it actually was on in the West End when he was arrested and they had the famous trial so it was taken off. So although at the time he wrote it it was considered a scandalous play, it's lasted through the years as one of the funniest ones that people seem to like. Uh, we, the, we have done, I have been involved in a period drama last year, uh, which was uh, Doll's House, um, where I played a much older character. Uh, the challenge with this one is, rather than playing somebody outside of my acting age, I'm playing someone within my acting age. Uh, so That's it, a challenge. I actually find that, I don't know, it's more challenging to play someone older than yourself, but there's, it's a different type of challenge, because when you're playing someone older than yourself, you have to learn their mannerisms. And in a way, it's, it's, it's harder because you've got to make it more believable, but knowing what the mannerisms are seem easier. Yes, I thought it would have been easier to play someone who was in your own... Well, it's, it's easier to actually act it and be believable in it, but it's harder to... Because you're, you are that age, it's harder for you to sort of distinguish what you should be acting like in the past and how you normally act in the present. I see. And it's, I see. It's, trying to make, it's trying to separate past and present and making majoritively the past in your experience. I've recently just sort of been saturating myself with all the, all the films and the plays and the, the uh, radio broadcasts of it all and it's, uh, it's a very interesting, intriguing and uh, devious little play, so it should be good. <laughs>